is Jared Horak for Today's Racing Digest.com and my Today's Racing Digest video series continues Saturday, April 14th, 2018. We're still on the road to Kentucky Derby 2018 and this is the final week for Derby Points races. And we're going to go over to Oakland Park and we're going to do the 11th race, the Grade 1 Arkansas Derby for 3 year olds, a mile and an eighth on the main track, 100 Kentucky Derby points to the winner, 40 for second, 20 for third, 10 for fourth. There are some horses in here that need derby points, and, and it's critical that they run good races. We, again, we have a nine-horse field, but let's just pull up the race header right now. And we've been showing the race header over the last few weeks. Uh, it takes into account fire number, CPR, a class level, but let's jump right in. And if you go to the left-hand side, you'll see fire number. Now, fire number is a number exclusive to today's Racing Digest. It takes into account speed throughout a race, and you can see Magnum Moon is highlighted, and he has a 98 fire number. That's four points better than the rest of the field. So he's a quality contender in this race, and he's your deserving favorite. Go over to line four, you'll see RCL. That's the class level, and the class level for the Arkansas Derby is 200. Uh, some of these horses have been running well at the 180 class level, and, and they are Salamini, Magnum Moon, Quip, and Combatant. So they look like the four horses with the best class in this race. And then go over to line five, CPR, you'll see CPR. Uh, it's comprehensive performance rating. Uh, that, that's a number, again, exclusive to today's Racing Digest, and it takes into account pace, final time, and closing fraction. And you'll see that uh, number four, Dream Baby Dream, has a 143 CPR, much better than the rest of the field. You can go over to Quip uh, with the second best number at 132. And then line six, they, line six adds up the class level and the CPR, and Dream Baby Dream has the best numbers with... Uh, Adding those two up, 318 points. Quip with 312. Magnum Moon with 311. Uh, so those are some of the, co the contenders on the race header. Let's jump right into the field and, and meet the field in here. Number one is Beautiful Shot, and number two is Machismo. Uh, I don't think either of those horses are top contenders in this race. Uh, they haven't run fast enough. Number three, Tenfold. He is two for two at Oakland Park at a mile and a sixteenth, and he earned 128 and 135 final ratings. He has some tactical speed, he's lightly raced, he, he could improve, he's going to have to improve, he's going to have to run faster to step up and beat this kind of field. Number four, Dream Baby Dream, we mentioned that one from the race header, put blinkers on in the Sunland Derby, finished second, and earned a 143 final rating and a strong CPR that I mentioned earlier. Now the problem with this one, uh, I think that the really it really set up for him last time, he got a fast pace. Outside Horses did best. Runaway Ghost came from post 11. Dream Baby Dream came from post 10. Runaway Ghost was much the best. Stalking the pace. Dream Baby Dream rallied to finish a clear second. Six lengths ahead of the rest of the field. I don't think it's going to get the same race set up today. I don't think there's going to be a really fast pace. This is, this is a tougher field. And, and, and I think maybe he could be a little bit over bet. But I wouldn't be surprised if he hit the board. Number five, Salamini. In his stakes record, he's had four starts in stakes races with three seconds and a third. He did finish first in the Los Alamitos for Charity, but he was disqualified and placed third that day. He made his comeback, his, his three-year-old debut in the Rebel Stakes. He finished second with a 137 final rating, the same number he got in the Los Al Futurity. He's going to have to run faster, and he hasn't found a winning running style yet. I think he's one that they would like to go to the front, and maybe Flavian Pratt will be aggressive here and try to get him out there. I thought that last time, but he wasn't quick enough to get the lead. Might not be quick enough to get the lead in here either, but... Bob Baffert's always dangerous in Oakland Park races. Number six, Magnum Moon. Your morning line favorite, he deserves to be the favorite. He's three for three lifetime. He's stalked, he's pounced, he's rolled in all three races. He was first in the Rebel Stakes at Oakland Park, getting a 147 final rating. He picked up 50 Kentucky Derby points as well. Uh, so he's already in the Derby, he's got enough points. Uh, he should run a good race here for Todd Pletcher. Uh, he's going to be right there at the finish if he runs anywhere near his last race. And if he does run back to that, he probably wins. Number seven, Plainsman is another one that's like a long shot, like Beautiful Shot and Machismo. Seems overmatched in here. Number eight, Quip is interesting. Finished seventh in the Kentucky Jockey Club Stakes in his final start as a two-year-old. Five horses came out of the Kentucky Jockey Club Stakes to win stakes races, including Quip. In his first start as a three-year-old, he won the Tampa Bay Derby. He was up on the pace. He got a 138 final rating. He could improve second off the layoff. There's not a ton of speed in this race. In that Tampa Bay Derby, it was a slow pace. He was up there. He won it. Not a lot of pace in here either. And in that Tampa Bay Derby, Flame Away finished. Um, 
finished second in that race. He came back and finished second in the Bluegrass Stakes. Vino Rosso was fourth in the Tampa Bay Derby. He came back and won the Wood Memorial. So the Tampa Bay Derby has proven to be a productive race. Quip has a lot of ability, and he could improve. He scratched out of the Bluegrass for this race. They wanted to wait a week. I think he caught a favorable pace scenario. Finally, number nine, Combatant. In four stakes races, he's had three seconds and a third. He was third in the Rebel, right behind Salamini last time, getting a 137 final rating. He likes to hit the board, and he's one that I think has a very good shot to hit the board. He has 22 derby points right now. So I think if he was able to at least finish third and pick up another 20 to give him 42, I think that will be enough to get him in the starting gate on the first Saturday in May. And my wagers in the Arkansas Derby, I'm going to make Quip my value long, my value top choice. He's 9-2 to two winning line. And I'll make a win wager on Quip. I'll play an exacta box with Magnum Moon, your deserving favorite, with number 8 Quip, and then a trifecta. We're going to put number 5 Salamini, number 6 Magnum Moon, number 9 Combatant on top. We're going to put all in second. And we're going to key number nine, combatant in third. He likes to hit the board. If you're interested in reading my weekly derby recaps, you can find those at todaysracingdigest.com, along with my full cards from Santa Anita Park. And if you're interested in the promo code that I've been mentioning the last few weeks, the promo code is D for free. That is the letter four, the letter D, uh, the number four, the word free. So that's D for free. You can get any one complete Today's Racing Digest between now and April 30th. It's a one-time use. You can get one complete digest by using promo code D for free. How you use that promo code, you go over to todaysracingdigest.com, sign into your Today's Racing Digest account, or create a new Today's Racing Digest account for free, and use the promo code D for free for one free complete digest between now and April 30th. That will wrap up this week's video. We'll be back next week with another stakes race from around the country.